All right, today we're at the South Florida Gold Coast BW Club's 30th Annual Show and Shine, an spectacular event that showcases all the BWs in the South Florida car scene. Today I'm here with uh, Lewis and with Walt. Uh, Lewis is the current president of the South Florida Gold Coast BW Club. Rolf is a longtime member. Guys, welcome. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the Show and Shine uh, car, car show that we're seeing here today. Well, as you mentioned, this is the 30th year. And we first started off at the uh, Park. And they built the uh, water slide, after slide, as you call it. And then they kicked them out and moved forward to the mills to, to uh, uh, Markham Park. And eventually it came here. And then for a while we moved to Boca and then we came back here. Okay. We've been held with a few other things in the past year. The club is about 32 years old. It was founded by four individuals. We put up 200 or 250 dollars. Only one of those individuals was Jones. Yeah. And uh, they held the first show in China two years after the founding. No kidding. The club was incorporated in uh, 1991. And we have last count either 159 or 160. 160. Yes, uh -huh. uh, today. Of all kinds of VWs. They're VW based. We have some horses with air cool engines. Sure. Mm -hmm. And the Richie was called the South Florida Boat Talking and Porsche Club. But due to uh, some magazines that we were mainly fortunate, we were able to get a little bit of a little We have numerous classes. Uh, we have uh, over 30 classes of cars. And each class is judged separately. There's a first, second, and third place for each class. Plus, there's some major goals. Talk, choice. There's a test of fear and best patience. One right. thing I do want to mention is that we're the only most uh, wanted car show in South Florida that also has water cool stuff. Okay, okay. So, fear, cold, and water. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, it's, it's open to pretty much everybody. Yeah. 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 We do various things and we do it sometimes in conjunction with other clubs, such as the ABCA. So, we go to private. So we're planning a big uh, cruise event somewhere in the summer to a part of the flower, you know, down to the way we were uh, north. Uh, that's, that's the thing you, can, you get to see the car running, not just uh, park. You know, yeah. uh, Steve is the owner of this beautiful uh, 68 uh, Beetle, and um, Steve, tell us a little bit more about your car. The car is titled as a 68. It's actually a combination of three cars, a 65 body, a 68 roof, and a 71 pan. I bought it from a guy who started building this car back in the early 80s, and he gave me a call about seven years ago. He said he was sick and he was never going to finish this car. It's been sitting in a warehouse for 14 years. It was yellow and black, and it had been sitting for many, many years. I had a 13 year old daughter. She comes home with her mom and she looks at the bug and she says, we're keeping it. I said, well, if your mom says we can keep it, we'll keep it. <laughs> she says, when I was a little girl, you promised me you'd build me a, bug, a pink Barbie bug. Which I probably did say that. And I had a 57 Chevy truck that I took the day. Just don't remember saying it, right? And I sold it and she was very upset. Yeah. And she loved the truck. And she goes, you sold the truck and I'm still mad at you, so you have to build a bug. I said, no problem. It's going to be a few years though. I didn't really want the car to be all pink because I wanted Dad to be able to drive it too without it being a little, you know, too, too girly. <laughs> so I decided on the two-tone. It actually is overcast and it looks black, but it's actually a metallic purple. When you see it in the sun, there's quite a bit of flake in it. It's actually a Ford factory color. So I ended up bringing it to Mad Mods, which is a body shop in here in Pompano. And I know Bobby for many years, I said, would you paint a bug? And he goes, dude, I love bugs. And I said, I want to do it pink. He goes, dude, I used to have a pink bug. So that was nice to have somebody that actually wanted to do the car and wanted to work with me the way I wanted it. And the interior, really, that's my thing. Uh, I like the one where it's something that nobody else has. Right. When you leave the show, you'll, you're going to think which car was the coolest car. It may not be first place, but the one that stands out in your mind. I had a bug years ago. And there was, I still remember that bug from 20 years ago, and I'm like, they remember this one now too. We're here today with Doug.
Doug and Chris Courier, and we're here with their uh, very distinctive and unique 1968 bus. Uh, Chris, Doug, can you tell us a little bit more? There's got to be a story behind this bus. What is it? I've always grown up with VWs. I started out with a VW 62 bus when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. We put our sheep in there, bring them to the fair. I've always had mostly regular Beetles because they were economical in the 60s and 70s. Then I got into riding motorcycles, and I couldn't ride motorcycles anymore. He bought me a 79 convertible, and I always wanted the bus in we went and got this bus, the paint job was great on it, but it just needed a little bit extra. <laughs> and I'd just like to go overboard, you know. We dedicated the outside to Jerry Garcia, because he's the one that made a coat out of it. He brought the buses back to where they were. I mean, this is an original VW shirt, and we actually dedicated it to Jerry Garcia. The inside, we dedicated to Cheech and Chong. My husband does that, he did the work on the inside. Drew Walker did all the uh, airbrushing and artist work on the outside. Doug, anything to add to that? She covered it pretty well, but... I think she did a pretty good job. But what ended up happening on a Saturday, because we had a 67 split window, and that was restored, and we were wanting to lower it and do some other things, and I'm kind of old-fashioned. I don't like butchering up something that's been restored and nice. So we sold that, and then we went to St. Petersburg to look at a 58 split window, and... Um, it was really bad shape, so we went right straight to Miami the same day. And then we found this one, talked to the guy a little bit, worked at a price, and drove it home. And then from there, it's uh, been another journey. It's like a woman shopping. Come on, look at the closet. Clean it out, you buy new stuff.